Thanks, commentary coming in from TCS. Remember, earnings cycle has been kick-started by this uh, IT major. And despite good set of results, well, TCS is down and out in trade. In fact, uh, the entire IT pack is lackluster. And we are talking about TCS and Infi, the biggest drags apart from big boy Reliance Industries. So staying with the IT pack, well, Infosys is what we are going to focus on. In a release to the exchanges, the company has said that its board will be considering buying back shares as uh, at when it meets uh, on Thursday on the 13th of October. So that's when the board is really going to take a call on this. Rima will tell us what to expect from this, Rima. Thanks so much for that. So Infosys will be considering a buyback along with its earnings on Thursday. IFL says the maximum buyback that the company can do will be 18,500 crore rupees. But they believe the buyback size will be close to 11,000 to 12,000 crore rupees. So this time, the buyback is likely to be higher than the buyback that we've seen in the last two instances. In the last two instances, that is in 2021 and 2019, the buyback size was 9,200 and 8,260. Why is it that the street is anticipating that the buyback size will be higher this time? Well, the reason is they need to meet their stated capital allocation policy. The stated capital allocation policy of INFI is that they will return 85% of their free cash flow over F. FI20 to FI24. Up until now, till FI22, the company's only returns 73%, which means it needs to play that catch up, which is why the street expectation is that this time the buyback could be higher, um, you know, maybe 11 to 12,000 crore rupees, as IFL pointed out. Remember, they have ample cash in their books, close to about four and a half billion dollars. So cash is not going to be a problem. Uh, so buyback size could be higher. Now, typically, the past buybacks tell us that it takes place at a premium, sometimes 15, sometimes 18. Uh, IFL says, according to them, the maximum expected buyback price should be 1,800 rupees per share, which is roughly a 15% premium to where the current market price is. And it could be an open market buyback like the last two. Back to you. All right, Reema, thanks a lot for getting us all of the details. We're going to wait by and see what the buyback amount finally 